Hey, it's Christina with Tina Girl Travels. Keith and I recently went to Quebec City and we stayed within the walls of the old city. And I'm gonna show you our cool little loft that we stayed in. Here's the outside of the loft hotel we stayed in. This building's from 1908. I booked it on hotels.com. It's called Lofts 1048. I'll show you where it's located on Google Maps at the end of the video. Here as we enter in, uh, right beside the door, there was actually a little area you could leave your shoes. It was also a little broom closet around the corner. And here is the powder room on the main floor. Right beside that is a full, well-stocked kitchen with full-size appliances, a fridge, stove, microwave, dishwasher. The cupboards had dishes in them. You could easily stay here uh, for longer than just a weekend and, um, you know, bring groceries in if you wanted to and enjoy this beautiful living room. Big comfy couch. We enjoyed sitting there and watching TV and listening to music and just looking out that beautiful window. Up in the loft area, that's why it's called the lofts, is the bedroom. I'll show you that in just a second. This is the dining room, four chairs. You can easily entertain here. It's just really, really beautifully laid out. All right, so there's another view of the kitchen there. And there's Keith, he's been driving all day today. He's a bit tired, so he's relaxing. And we're gonna head up the spiral staircase um, up to the bedroom area and the main bathroom. So now this might um, be a, a, a bit of a bother for somebody who can't get upstairs. And but I'm gonna show you a little trick in a minute about staying at this place. So big, beautiful king size bed. Um, there's actually a screen there just blocking any view from down below on the street. There's also curtains that get pulled across. There's a ceiling fan there. So there is actually a lot of privacy in this suite even though it's such a big window. Now see that door at the back there? If you open that door, you're actually on the next floor up. So if you had mobility issues, you could actually come in through that door and stay in this suite if you wanted to. You can run through the hallways in your pajamas. Anyways, um, so full bath, full shower, and washer and dryer. What a bonus, I love that. So Keith's holiday was a little longer than mine was because I had to work. So he was able to actually do some laundry while we were here, which was just so great. Okay, so one thing I just wanna sneak into this video right now is um, that there's no reception desk at this hotel. So once you've booked your hotel, um, you'll get an email with instructions on how to get into your room. And it's a lockbox. So once you once you find your parking, then you'll come to the base of the hotel and into the front doors. And uh, there's like a mailbox area. And you just put your code in and open the lockbox and there's your key for the room. So that's as simple as it is. If you need help, there is a phone number. You can call them. They resolved an issue that I had really quickly. Um, I actually didn't receive the email right away. And that could have just been because we were on the road and we had spotty internet. Um, not a problem though, they sent me the information and we were quickly able to get into the hotel and into our room. So just so you know, there's no reception desk. So as we look out over the edge here, it's so pretty this place. Looking out on the street, oh my goodness. So this is located on the main street, just on the inside of the, the walls of the city. And this street actually closes down to vehicles. Um, during the afternoon and evening. So um, it's nice and just to people watch and look out the window and watch everybody walking by and the restaurants are bustling. And when you close the windows, it was very quiet, but it's such a pretty, pretty old city with so much history. Okay, going on top of the building, we actually found this um, the, the last day that we stayed there. You can actually sit up here and enjoy the views. You can bring a coffee up here with you and, and just relax and have a look at all the, the skyline of the city is so pretty let's talk about parking so we arrived at night and that road was closed and it was a bit frustrating we ended up parking underneath uh, the Royal Hotel and which was $22 or something a night and then we found this one see the walls of the city there and then there's this parking right beside that I'm going to show you on the map in a second so let's have a look at the price here it's $18 for a day eight cents a minute I love that um, but yeah, $18 basically for 24 hours to park here. So 
you know what? That's, that's pretty decent. Okay. Having a look on Google maps. I love Google maps. Here you can see, um, basically the old Quebec city area. That's where the hotel is located, right? Where that pinpointer is and parliament Hill and sort of the main road is right here. There's that hotel, uh, Royal that we stayed, we parked our car in, but okay. So there's the main part of the city and the main street. Okay. That's the upper part of old Quebec city. And that was our hotel right there. So I'm going to show you. So you walk through the main gates. This is that parking that I just showed you. So really close, just around the corner to the hotel. There we go. Hey, thanks so much for watching Tina Girl Travels. I hope you enjoyed my little tour of where we stayed in Quebec City. You know what, staying in that historic building actually just made our experience that much better. I really loved it. I would stay there again in a heartbeat. I have a lot of videos coming up on Quebec City, Montreal, and Ottawa. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any of those videos. I'll see you next time on Tina Girl Travels.